Time to talk men's soccer. Head coach Bill Elliott joins us now as we kind of preview the season heading into uh, what should be another great campaign for your, your crew. You guys are coming off some success last year. Uh, maybe didn't end where you wanted it to. Well, no, it, we we felt we left a little bit on the table last year. You know, I mean, we've had uh, three good seasons in a row in terms of making the conference final and making the NCAA tournament. But uh, we fall a little short once we got there and uh, hoping to improve on that. Yes, it's good, right, to have expectations be high. And you've got a you know, group of players who have been around for a while, kind of know what you want out of them. Uh, some great names coming back. Let's talk a little bit about the strength of the team that returns. And you've got Kynan and you've got Keegan and others that you, you, you know what they can bring to the table. Yeah, no, we have some good, uh, exciting attacking players, but we're still trying to find the chemistry, I think, um, because we've added a couple more and gotten a couple people healthy. And so it's just getting people in the right areas and, and teaching them to combine so that our collective strength is stronger than just the individuals in it. Um, so, yeah, attacking-wise, could be exciting. I feel that we'll also be pretty solid defensively. Let's talk about yeah, that backside. I mean, if you, if you don't give up any goals, you can't lose. At least that's what I've been told through the years. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I think it's uh, – the, the trick in soccer, it's a little bit of chess. It's it's trying to – as a coach, you're trying to um, set your team up to be very solid defensively, but also to make the easiest transitions to attack. And uh, we've been looking at a lot of different things in preseason, trying to figure out what's going to work for this group of players. New players that come in, I mean, that's that's the way college athletics works now with, with the transfer portal and other things. I mean, the whole rosters can flip over. You haven't had to do that, which is a good thing. What do you expect for, from some new faces? Yeah, I, I think that uh, we've got some new players that are trying to find their way. I think that uh, as we see quite often when, when talented new players come into our program, um, the competition they see within the practices and uh, – the depth of the team always surprises them. So those talented guys, and certainly a couple will find their way on the field, but they're having to fight for it, and I think that uh, is coming a little surprise to them. Preseason is probably never quite as long as a coach wants it to be to get things dialed up the way you want, or are you like, I'm ready, let's get this out there, on the, let's put the product out there and see what happens? Yeah, it's not as long. I mean, you'd, uh, we'd like a little bit more time for the physical preparation and to, to kind of ease into it. But at the same time, you, you reach a point where you can't find out the answers to the questions without playing games. And so that's where we're at right now. And that's why we always schedule top opponents like Tampa, St. Leo Rollins to start the season because they're going to ask all the questions. Um, and uh, they're going to find every weakness if we have one. And that's going to set us up for success you know, long-term in the season. And that really does get you ready for the next portion, which is, and it happens pretty quickly now, where you're in GSC play, but kind of before you know it. What do you expect from the conference this season? Yeah, I think the conference is, it just improves every year. And it's um, you see every year different teams winning it, different teams in the finals. And uh, the competition's great. I mean, that's why we love playing in this conference. I mean, we wouldn't want to play in a, in a conference that was anything less. You you have, you know, accolades from last year with the individual players, some of them, and, and that, you know, it means a lot to the player, means a lot to the program, but new season comes in, and it, does it go back to kind of square zero? Or Absolutely. Past is the past. I mean, it's, uh, you, don't, you don't win any games or, or get any awards for what you did last year. You know, it's, uh, it's a whole new season, and uh, it's anybody's ball game, as they say, and, and we're, I think our guys are, are ready to to compete, if, if we can get them to compete with uh, our opponents as hard as they do with each other in practice, we'll be okay. We had a chance to talk to a couple of Coach Elliott's players to talk about their expectations for this season. You put in some hard work. It's been hot outside, ready to play. What do you expect from this year? Uh, I'd say I expect the same from last year and maybe a little bit more. Um, we all put in a lot of work this summer, and we all know what it takes to get to where we were last year, and I think we know what it takes to get even further this year. What does this team do well? And, you know, going into the season, kind of the strength, and then what are you kind of still working on? Like, we got to get that ironed out. I would say we are very solid defensively. We don't leak goals. And then offensively, we're still trying to find ourselves because we added a couple of new pieces and we're playing similar to last year, but we're also trying to add more options to get a couple more goals every game. So You guys obviously test yourself early, you know, in the season, and you have to because the Gulf South Conference comes and things get hectic in a, in a hurry. Uh, are you, are you kind of ready? Is the team ready to kind of stop scrimmaging and let's get out there and play? I'd say we're all itching to play. Tampa, we're very excited to play. 
What, what do you expect from you, kind of the early opponents? And, you know, what are you looking to get out of these first couple of games? We're ranked in the top 25. I'd say we have a target on our back. And they know if they can get a result against us, they're legit. But they're not getting a result against us. So, what, What's the expectation for this season? You know, when it's all said and done, what are the goals that the team sets? And where, where do you want to be? Sky's the limit. Uh, we all we all want to win the conference. We all want to win the regular season. And we all know that we have a lot bigger goals than just those two. What's the preseason been like? Obviously, it's been 100 degrees out there every day. Uh, I'm sure you guys are in great shape. Yeah, it's been hot. Um, we just trying to go out there, trying to find ourselves. And uh, new some new boys out there. Uh, we didn't lose too many good players that we needed. We were a young team, and now it's just trying to figure out how we can maximize our potential. It's always interesting to kind of watch the younger players uh, mature into leadership roles. Is that kind of where you and some of the others find yourselves now? You guys have been in the program a little while. Yeah, we've been here. we've been here a little bit, <laughs> um, but I'm seeing I'm seeing a few people from the last few years just like take over what we are leaving behind, and it's pretty cool to see. It's pretty cool to see the growth from even someone from last year who was new last year. We see them taking up some stuff. So we see some good leaders coming up through the team. How much does you know? The success you had, but maybe not getting all the way to where you wanted to get influence this year. Yeah, it's, it's always inspirational to try to go further than you did before, especially a season like last season that ended a little prematurely. Um, we've got the same talent. We've got better talent. We've got more mature players. And we think we can go, honestly, a lot further than we did last year if we just get that next 5% that we need to get in the top of the table. But Coach, you really have some good ones that they're fun to get to know and fun to talk to. And when we do photo shoots and stuff, they have a good time. But they're all business on the field when you, when you guys are playing. Uh, again, getting it going on the road, and then you'll be home here before too long. Uh, you know, how, how much is a successful start to the season vital? It is important, uh, obviously, because momentum is huge in sports, not just within games, but within seasons. Um, you know, our biggest challenge as we look forward is, is I think we open with five games in a row on the road and all against tough opponents. So uh, how well we travel, yeah. we're going to find out. Um, but uh, like I said, we're, we're ready. We're anxious to get it going. If we can uh, get this hurricane out of the way, we'll get on down to Tampa and, and find out what's what. Yeah, we, we get the beautiful weather. They get the rough weather. They're getting the season started here. Remember, you can always follow social media for men's soccer and check with GoArgos.com for the schedules, latest news and notes and all that stuff. The Argo Armada app. If you don't have that on your phone or tablet, add that as well. And we'll be keeping an eye on these guys through the season. Good luck to you, Coach. Good, thank Appreciate you. it. And as always, Go Argos.